Good morning, educators, and welcome to SB Connect, where we connect to and educate for the world of work. It is Health Professions Week, and today we are going to be engaging Dr. Doje, the director of Chafee College's nursing program, where she and her students and her staff and colleagues will be discussing today about how to become a registered nurse. Again, you're in for a treat. Thank you, Dr. Joje, for joining us this morning. Good morning. So I am Dr. Lisa Dogay, and you are here at Chafee College, which is my alumni class of 1993 from Chafee College. I went on from Chafee to get my bachelor's, then my master's, and my doctorate. We're going to introduce you to our program today and to some of our students. And then, of course, if you have any questions or have anything else that you might need as an educator or as a student, feel free to drop me an email. And we also have information sessions posted on our website on a semi-regular basis. So they're probably four or five times um, a semester. And we'll go ahead and get started. I have Jacob, one of our students, holding our camera today. And so we're going to go ahead and get you some information about how to become a nurse through the Chafee College Associate Degree Nursing Program. So Chafee College is one of the original community colleges that was granted the ability to hold a pre-licensure program in the 1950s. So we are one of the original programs. We are approved by the BRN. We are also accredited by ASIN. And if you are looking at a program, I highly recommend looking at an ASIN program that is Accreditation Commission for Nursing and Education in Nursing. It is a national accreditation and that allows you the ability to work for the federal government, to transfer more easily to more bachelor's programs, and to have more flexibility in your ability to get your degree and move on. So ASIN is again a national accreditation. It is harder to achieve, and not all of the community colleges have it. I think at last count we're at 18 of them, but we do have it, and we've had it since the 1970s. Our NCLEX pass rates, which is the test that you take to become a registered nurse after you complete your pre-licensure education program, are always above the national average. On average, it's between 85 and 98% of our students pass it on the first try. If they don't pass it on the first try, they pass it on the second try, but we do really well overall. And that's because of the rigor of our program and our highly qualified and dedicated staff and our amazing skills of that you'll see today. We are a well-respected ADM program, respected and supported by the community. A couple of years ago, they did some rankings and we were rated third in our area and 11th in the state for people getting their degree in nursing. And I think we're better than that, but you know, that's just my personal opinion because mm -hmm. I am alumni. So again, these are some of our graduates here. So make sure that you have done your research. Make sure that you really want to become a registered nurse. Being a registered nurse is not an easy job. It is a fantastic job though. And one of the great things is you have lots of job opportunities in many different ways to become a nurse. You can be a nurse at the hospital, you can be a nurse in a clinic, you can be a nurse in a, in a lab, you can be a nurse in research, lots of different things. Most of our nurses do graduate and go straight into a hospital-based job, but there are lots of them. Numerous jobs available and the hourly wages are increasing. This is 2016, I actually updated it today, so I should have updated that number too. Uh, median hour rate, hourly rates are between 45 and $70 an hour, and that is for general nursing. So most of our new grads start a little bit lower than that and then go up, it depends on where, county and hospital you're hired in, but our nurses are paid very, very well. Most people come into the medical surgical hospitals, but again, we have increased use of nurses in the outpatient setting, and so that has been slowly increasing. There are all different ways you become a registered nurse. Our program that we're going to talk about primarily is the ADN program, is what we call a generic program. That's what we call our generic or traditional program. That is a four-semester program after your prerequisite courses are completed. So you complete some coursework and then you apply to the nursing program. We also have the LVN to RN degree option. So someone who's interested in becoming an LVN first, this is a great pathway. They can get a job, they can work and support their family and learn a lot more about nursing. They start the LVN program and then they take a transition course and that shortens their time in the program here for us. Also we have an advanced placement military option. So if you have someone who's planning on going to the military, they can either get their degree in the military or if they haven't, they can graduate and get advanced placement with us based on their military background. All of those, these programs allow you to sit for the licensure exam 
as a registered nurse for the state of California and to take that NCLEX and become a registered nurse. These are our prerequisites right now. Prior to applying to the program, we require that you take college level courses, anatomy, physiology, microbiology with a lab and micro, and um, those all have to be completed. If you've had high school chemistry or you're in high school right now and haven't had chemistry yet, that counts as a prereq to physiology. All of the others, you can see there's a core sequence there, but most of the time students get right into some of those. They are a busy competitive, um, sequence of courses. They are all very heavily in science, so make sure that you like science and anatomy. And if you're a science nerd like me, you'll find it a lot of fun to take those prereqs. I love my prerequisite courses, and that's to get you ready to take the program. In addition, you have to have some general ed, of course, because we want to make sure that you're a well-rounded person when you become a registered nurse. So some math, it's math 401, it's not super hard, psychology, sociology, a communication class because you're going to be talking and speaking to your patients on a regular basis, some humanities, and then math or math proficiency, and then English 1A or the assessment uh, course for that. There are some enrollment criteria. There are hyperlinks on here for the way that we do points to get into our program. I'm not going to click on the hyperlinks today, but we do what's called a multi-criteria which means that we encourage you to do things like become fluent in a foreign language because that helps you with bilingual patients. We encourage you to work in or a volunteer job in a hospital because that will help you with patients. So those are some ways that you get some entrance criteria that gives you extra points while you're in the program. We also give you points for things like, are you gonna have to work while you're in school? Are you first generation to college? Do you have a, a disability? Any of those barriers to your learning? We also give you points for that too because we want a lot of our students to come through. We have a lot of first-generation students. We have a high degree of students on financial aid and who need support, and we're here for you. We have a lot of things that we can offer you here at Chafee College. Um, again, with the Panther Promise, which is Chafee's two years free community college, a lot of your prerequisite courses will be covered. And that means that you wouldn't have to pay for a lot until you actually get into the program. And there's still financial aid available at that time. So what are the requirements? You can look on our website at any time that is always being monitored for a lot of different changes. If anything changes for our program, it's usually about one to two years to get your prerequisite courses done. If you're doing dual enrollment at the high school level, you can get some of those done while you're in high school. Then you're gonna submit all of your information prior and then you apply to our program. We accept applicants to our program in March and September. In general, we take 40 students per semester. So that's 80 students a year that can come into our program as a generic student. Um, and while we are impacted as all of the other ADM programs are, we have a lot of different things that we can offer our students. So a lot of our students do get into the program on the first or second try. How much does our program cost? This is the best part, guys. Our total estimated cost is less than $7,000 for the entire two years that you're in the program. And most of that is books in the first semester. After that, we are the best, most amazing deal you can have because you save tons of money by coming here and you graduate becoming a registered nurse. And then if you go on to do other coursework, you can get tuition reimbursement from your place of employment and that helps you further overall. So very inexpensive program for all that you get and you get master's and doctorally prepared faculty who are well versed in how to get you to graduate and be successful. This is our ADN course sequence. Again, you can see it's four semesters. I'm not gonna leave on that too long, but it's a four semester program. We have multiple RN to BS and articulation programs. We have many ways for you to complete that bachelor's degree in nursing, which is so important, and to become familiar with the coursework. We have dual enrollment coming soon where you can actually enroll at Cal State University San Bernardino and Grand Canyon Univers University, either one, and get your bachelor's degree while you're here in the associate's degree nursing program. That allows you to complete your BSN in a shorter time frame and have that bachelor's degree um, very shortly after you graduate with your associate's degree. We also have articulation degrees with Cal State Fullerton and Azusa Pacific, which again, provides smoother, faster pathways to you to become a registered nurse with another degree. So if you have any other questions, you're gonna email me. You can also talk with a Chafee counselor anytime. If you're a high school student and you're not a Chafee student yet, you can click on the little button on our website that says speak with a counselor as a non-student and they can also meet with you at that time too. 
So now we're gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna meet all of our students here today and then we're gonna give you a tour of our lab. Hi guys, my name is Jacob. I'm the camera operator, which makes sense because I went to shape years ago to get uh, some training in camera work. But I figured that I didn't want to record heroes. I wanted to be one. So I went back to Chapey and I studied really hard and I got great grades and I was able to get in this year, which was one of my dream things to do. So uh, now I'm working on the process of becoming a registered nurse and I'm in my first year. And yes, it's scary. And yes, it's hard. And yes, it's tough. But if you want to do it, you can be in it too. You can do it and join us, guys. I believe in you. So let's go ahead and talk to a few more students uh, and get their perspective on why they want to be a student nurse. Hi, my name is Shelby. I'm also a first semester student with Jacob, who you just met. Um, when I was a senior in high school, I decided I want to be a nurse, and I went straight from high school to JP, and I've been going since. I got in on my first try. I'm actually president of my cohort, which is my graduating class, so it's hard, but it's definitely worth it already, so on to the next. Pass it on. Hi, my name is B. I'm being a nurse just because I was inspired by one of the nurse who taking care of me when I was having my baby. She took care of me, she cared about me. Oh my God, that makes me really, really inspired. And I want to be a nurse to take care of other people who are in the weak time. Uh, there was another sentence where it inspired me, hope inspired you also. If you save one life, you're a hero. Save 100 life, you are a nurse. Hey, hello, my name is Yoko. Uh, I'm the first semester, I uh, almost uh, graduated, so oh, oh, uh, think, <laughs> <laughs> think back to all the hard, uh, hard work, but uh, you're going to be worse. When you want to be the nurse, you want to help the people. If you want to help, uh, like during this hard time, uh, special the uh, uh, COVID time, if you want to help the, help, help the people be the nurse, okay, come to check. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Damaris. I've been wanting to be a nurse since probably I wanted to be in the medical field since I was little, but a nurse, um, I used to go to my mom's job. She was a CNA for many years. She would take me, I would volunteer. And ever since then, I would um, always do activities with the elderly. And ever since I was just inspired and wanted to become a nurse. So I'm here at JP. I chose JP because I know that they are great. It's a very challenging program, but they make the best nurses. Hi guys, I'm Tyler. I'm the fourth semester president. So like they said, we're almost graduating four weeks. Um, I wanted to be a nurse and a teacher. I kind of couldn't decide, but my mom's a nurse. So I kind of followed her footsteps, got to see how she took care of patients. I became a nursing assistant about nine years ago, just to make sure that this is what I wanted to do. So I got my feet in the water at a hospital. Um, the program is hard, but it's worth it. You've learned so much from so many amazing other nurses and we got to watch how to become those Chafee grad nurses. So it's really fun and exciting. Wow, that's an amazing group of people. Hey guys, we have some stuff we have to do on the lab, some skills. So I'm gonna hand it off to Professor Dogay and she'll take it from here. Hi everybody, I'm going to switch this around here and I'm gonna give you a tour of our lab. Our students are busy taking care of patients actively today. So we're gonna be here looking at what's going on around us. Hi guys, how are you doing in here? Hey, good morning. Good morning. So you can see this is our back skills lab. We have multiple older adult patients. This is our geriatric lab. We have Mr. Martin here who is, Mr. Martin, where did you go to, to school to become a nurse? Uh, Chapey Community College. Chapey <laughs> Community College, awesome. And have you worked critical care in the ER? Yes, I have. That is fantastic. And you can see here, we're doing lots of things in here, taking care of patients. We have a couple of students here meeting with people, lots of models here. And then we have some of our students here today taking care of people. As we walk around, you're going to see lots of people taking care of people. All right, so what are we doing here? Oh, my patient has a trach. I'm about to do some suctioning. I'm going to put my sterile gloves on. Great. That's the patient. So we have a patient here with a tracheostomy and a student that's going to be doing some trach care. You can see here we have many, many other mannequins. This is our hospital here all of our patients here ready to go some of them have been here a really long time some of them i had when i came to chafee tyler what are you doing over here hey i'm putting in an ng tube it helps to either decompress the stomach if they have a bowel obstruction or it can also provide them with feeding if they cannot eat or drink at the time great thank you so much you might want to check out his central line there too it looks like he needs a dressing on that he sure does all right, you can see here, we're gonna go in the back and see what's going on back here with these students. 
All right. Hi, guys. How are we doing in here? Yeah. Hi. What are we doing over here? Oh, yeah. We treat, we treat the patient. Oh, my goodness. We have a lot going on in here. This is our simulation room. These are some of our simulation mannequins. And you can see here we have an active simulation going. Yes. Sir, are you okay? Yeah, you yeah. have a problem because she's going to give his uh, medication. So we have his coffee medication. Okay, thank you so much. So you can see here we have a live simulation. Here's our simulation operator, also a local registered nurse who went to community college program. All right. You can see he's in good hands. And what are we doing over here, guys? Taking care of a new baby. You can see his mom. Oh. And you can see here he's in his little warmer and being assessed here. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's a newbie. Oh my Very gosh, good. he's so cute. What a cutie. Very nice. We do have birthing mannequins today. We will not be giving birth live today uh, for various reasons. All right. And here, Jacob, are you taking care of a wound on this yes, patient? Yes, I am. I'm pouring wound care to promote healing and uh, hopefully no infection. Great. Thank you so much. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at that. So this is our main skills lab. You can see we have multiple mannequins, all different levels of high fidelity and low fidelity. We can do almost anything that you would do in a hospital here in a simulated environment. We can give medications. We have patients that have all kinds of multiple diagnoses and all kinds of things going on with them. What do you guys feel the best thing about this simulated environment is here at Chafee? How much it prepares you for the hospital, yeah. I would say. Actually, you give you a lot of uh, the experience before you uh, touch the real patient. Lots of experience before you touch the real patient, great. You can practice yourself, be prepared, then before you go to real see your patient, you will you never be nervous about that. That's because wonderful. You ready for them. Great. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna go back in here and then Jacob can have my camera operator again. You guys are doing okay still? Yes. All right. So I'm gonna talk a little about a little bit more about our program here at Chafee. And then um, we'll come back and to see if you guys have any questions for us. So that was a little tour of our lab here at JP. We wanted to show you all the great things that we do here. People have asked about the rigor of our program, and we do have a lot of rigor, but our baseline GPA to get into the program is only 2.8. Uh, we do encourage you to get good grades, especially in your prerequisite courses, uh, but we have a lot of different ways that you can achieve those good grades once you get here. You can repeat a course if it's not um, too many of them. And we have a lot of support. So what are some of the things we have here at Chafee to support you while you're learning, guys? What are some of the labs that we have? We have a multidisciplinary success center. We have a language success center. Yeah. We have a math success yeah. center, which is my favorite success center because math and nursing saves lives, but a lot of nurses don't like math and that's okay. Um, we teach you how to, how to get that stuff ready to go. And then we have this skills lab here as well. So that if people have any questions while they're here, they need anything, they have that as well. Um, the basics to become a registered nurse are that you are interested in becoming a registered nurse and you take those prerequisite courses um, and that you're ready and prepared. Again, it takes one to two years to get all of those courses while you're here at Chafee. Some of them you can take while you're in high school. Um, and then once you're here, we have lots of ways to support you. Academically, what we would hope that you do is that you're curious about science, that you have compassion for others, and that you're ready to be dedicated. Uh, when you guys are in clinical, what parts of your body, brain, or heart do you use? All of them. All of them, right? <laughs> it's a holistic job and a holistic experience. So it's one of those things that at the end of the day, you really feel like you've done something good in the world, even if it's a really rough day. So I think now we're probably ready to answer some questions in case if anybody has questions about the program or about what's here. So Jacob, if you want to man the camera, and then we can ask if anyone has any questions. Okay, students, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the chat box um, so I can read them or just simply unmute your microphone. I'd like to start off with the first question. Uh, what's the average age of, of those that start your program? 
We have a huge age range, 20 to 60 is what I had in one graduating class. Um, the average age of a student that graduates here is in their 20s, um, simply because we get a lot of students who come back to Chafee. Uh, but I think Shelby, did are, Did you just turn 21? I you gonna, just turned 21. Shelby just turned 21. Happy birthday, Shelby. Thank you. Um, and then we, yeah, and, and Tyler here just turned 30. So we have students in a, a wide range. Again, the largest I had was 20. I had a, a student who was 20, like Shelby, and I had a student who was 60, who decided that they had always wanted to become a nurse and came back for that. So that's a great question. Wonderful, wonderful. I have another question. Um, what are the most important skills you would recommend students uh, to have coming into this program? Any of my answer? Personal skills, people skills, you really do have to love people to do this in some way, whether it's kids or elderly or everyone in between. So definitely people skills. If you're not a people person, I wouldn't recommend it. I would also say compassion and just the willingness to learn every day, even if you think you know something you know it might change you know nursing and science is ever changing so just the willing to keep going what about organization oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah high management for sure but there are so many skills that are very important in the program i wouldn't i didn't say just pinpointing one but there's so many things like even just safety is like very important to have especially when you're taking care of your patients huge and be able to admit when you're wrong sometimes we make mistakes we have to learn from them thank you thank you and then we uh, we have another question also um can you discuss if any of you um if this is a second job or a career change for you um into the medical field why did you make that change and what has kept you in the medical field? Yeah. So I've had many careers and many jobs. I'm 31 years old and I really wanted to make a difference and interact with people and change my life and their life. And so I decided to become a nurse to really be the most effective, helpful person I could be. And this program has helped me do that. So yeah, I transitioned from film and from personal training and from bartending, and I went into a career that I truly believed in, and I've never looked back since. Anybody else? First there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let, we have another question. Uh, one of our students wants to know if they can actually go to Chafee College in your nursing program and high school at the same time? Or maybe any of your students have uh, done what's called concurrent enrollment. Right, so you, we can't, you can't be in the nursing program yet because there are so many college classes that you'd have to take. But we do have students, we had a student that actually entered our program at the age of 18, as soon as she graduated. And a lot of our, our places require you to be 18. Um, but she got a job as a CNA in, in school, and you can actually get it as soon as you turn 18. I think you can be in the CNA program. And then she she came into our program just before she turned 19 because she had taken so many other courses in high school. So she had taken English 1A. She would taken all that she could. And so when she came here, she only had a little bit of time to take those prereqs and then apply to the program. So that just depends on how long it takes you to get those courses. But you can't take it in high school while you're here. And also developmentally, I will tell you, I started when I was young, like Shelby. It's really hard to be a nurse when you're green and new in the world because it's a lot. You see a lot of sad things, right? And so it's good to be a little bit older than that simply because your brain is not hardwired for that yet. Um, I found it a little bit um, intimidating. I'm so glad I did it. I have absolutely no regrets and I'm glad I went when I did. But I will tell you that I'm glad that I entered the program when I was um, I think I grad I graduated nursing school when I was 22, um, and I think that's the perfect age. I, I think if I had graduated younger, I, we had one student that graduated at 20, and that was a little hard. Uh, but she's doing great. She's actually an ER nurse and um, just had a baby, and um, she's not 20 anymore. So <laughs> uh, it's been a while, but she's doing great. She's in my very first cohort. Thank you. Thank you. And, and what kinds of, of skills, experiences, or classes would you recommend to current high school students uh, who are interested in 
becoming a registered nurse or entering into the medical field? Um, well, like Dr. Nogue said, um, I, I started as a CNA. Um, I think that's a great way to start. Uh, you get all the experience, like especially with safety, with just like the beginning skills, it really helps you like understand the entire process. So when you get into nursing, you already have the basics. So it's very, very helpful. I would also say uh, communication courses are amazing. They have amazing teachers here or professors at Chafee that can teach you effective communication. If you want another club, I recommend Toastmasters. That's where I went to perfect or hone my communication skills. And I believe that they have Saturday courses that will help you get more familiar about how to communicate in a hospital setting or any setting. We also have a dual enrollment pharmacology class at the high schools now, and that helps, especially if you're a senior and you really want to try this out. But I also recommend CNA um, because then you know for sure that this is what you want to get into and it gives you some training ahead of time. Um, uh, psychology and sociology are great because you need to understand where people are coming from and how they access care and different things like that. There's a lot that goes into that. You'll have patients that have different ways that they access care and different things that they need and then how they adapt psychosocially to illness is really an important part of the job. I, I agree with the pharmacology and pathophysiology. That wasn't a required class for the program, but it definitely gives you a better understanding of each disease process as they come about through the program. Earlier, uh, Dr. Go, uh, Doge, you had discussed some of the advantages of going to Chafee College. Can you underscore just a little bit more uh, for our students the advantages, benefits of going to a community college in California um, in comparison to uh, going to maybe a four-year college right out of high school? Sure, sure. Well, I will tell you, um, just anecdotally, I happen to know that APU and the Cal States like our students to come in because we complete at higher rates than people coming in generically. All of the programs are impacted. I don't think it's a bad thing to go to a Cal State, but I will tell you that you save a lot of money and the associate degree nurses get hired. We are able to get you that bachelor's degree in, a, in just a little bit more time and you get to work sooner and you can make money sooner. So you get two years of free community college in the state of California. So most of your prereqs would be covered by that, all of your tuition. And then you get to come to Chafee and finish that out for only $7,000 for two years versus paying quite a bit more at Cal State to get that RN license. Once you get that RN license, whether you're doing dual enrollment with us, whether you're doing APU or Cal State Fullerton or Cal State San Bernardino or any other program to get your bachelor's degree, you're already able to then work as a registered nurse because you have your license. And all of our local hospitals will either take you with an RN, with your RN license and associate degree um, or BSN enrolled. Some of them prefer BSN enrolled. So as long as you're working towards that path, you can get a job. And I will tell you, our last new grad survey, 95% of our students were hired. And at this time, we're looking at re-upping our nurse extern program which is a program that allows nursing students in the, in the program currently to work at a level higher than a CNA while they're nursing students. And that's just because there are fewer jobs now for new entry nurse, um, sorry, fewer um, new nurses available in this area. And we're about to go into a big dip of a nursing shortage. All of the hospitals right now need nurses and they want us to get in and get out and get them people to help. So that's our goal. Our goal is to create the healthcare heroes of tomorrow. And even way before COVID, I actually bought one of our professors a mug that said Chafee College Nursing, we train the heroes because we really do. All of these people here are going to go on and save so many lives and they start here. Doing that starts with a good education and a good foundation so that no matter where they go in their career, they can go on and do that. But the, the benefit to me from getting your associate's degree is you're out working sooner you save a lot of money. And a lot of the nursing schools, you know, are very expensive and saving that money is really important. You know, we want you to be able to feed your family and have a good job and not have a lot of student debt when you graduate. Thank you for uh, underscoring the economic outlook for um, the medical professions in the area as well. It's definitely in demand. Can you speak a little bit to the salary, the expected salary for someone coming out of your program uh, with the um, skills that you, you provide there? 
Sure. So the last time that I got a labor estimate from the local hospitals, um, $35 an hour was about the lowest to start, um, up to $45 an hour to start. And then experienced nurses make up to $70 an hour. And that's as a regular um, nurse at the bedside. If you go on and have specialty certifications or additional training or do travel nursing, then you can make even more money. Um, but our new grads make excellent, excellent wages and do very, very well. I'm constantly getting feeds of our new graduate nurses, you know, able to buy a home for their families and able to purchase a car and able to do all of those things that we have created as metrics for success for ourselves. And so I can tell you that they're doing very, very well financially. Um, the average nurse in the state of California makes over $100,000 a year as a registered nurse. Well, thank you so much. I believe this will be our last question. And the, this question is for you, Dr. Dogay. What has kept you working in the medical field? What is your why? Oh, my why. That's, you know, I will tell you, it's every single patient I've ever had. Um, it's going to make me cry. When I think back on my career, I see faces and I see people that I took care of. And I see what I did for them. And part of why I wanted to become a teacher here at Chapey was because I saw the need to have good people educating nurses because I saw that we needed more good nurses. And I will tell you, I think about patients all the time. I think about the patients that I had with my students and I think about my patients and that's my why. It's every single person in those beds. It's a people like my grandmother who just got to be taken care of of one of our Chapey grads. It's a people like my husband's grandfather who was taken care of on his deathbed by a Chapey grad. And that's so important to me um, to know that we have good nurses out there and to know that I can affect that in that way. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Dogay, to your staff, uh, to all the students that have participated uh, in this chat. This was wonderful. Um, this will conclude our session for the day. Um, we also want to let our educators know that you can check out our next event at sbcalliance.org and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at SBC Alliance. Again, thank you so much, Dr. Dogay. You guys have a wonderful day today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye.